Today, we will be doing a retrospective of Jose Clemente Orozco's life, beginning with maternity, made in between 1923 and 1924. This piece has both secular and religious implements, with its representation of Mary and baby Jesus, accompanied by multiple nude figures. This painting was controversial due to its multifaceted meaning and the layering of religious and sensual ideas. Next up, The Trench, made in 1926. This fresco shows artistic and metaphorical development from his earlier works. This piece carries a powerful and controversial message of peace. It openly speaks out against the violence of the Mexican Revolution. Moving on to Orozco's creation of 1930, Prometheus. This fresco is centralized around the Greek myth of Prometheus. This scene depicted is showing the Titan, Prometheus, preparing to bestow the gift of knowledge on humanity. This painting is a good example of Orozco's belief that art did not have to be aesthetic or pleasing. Specifically, Prometheus uses sharp shapes and colors to move the viewers. This can be seen in the textured flames and the bright colors. Coming up next is the Table of Universal Brotherhood which was made in 1931. This piece is a part of the series in the Rosco Room in the New York School, New School. This piece is another example of Rosco's art against the violence of the Mexican Revolution. He depicts people of different ethnicities gathering together. Like many of Rosco's work, there is a sense of solemnity and pessimistic values. Finally, we are ending on the epic of American civilization, created between 1932 and 1934. This piece is composed of 24 fresco panels and compresses the story of America into three main ages, pre-Hispanic, European colonization, and the industrial world of the early 1930s. Though this story could have been interpreted as progression and movement towards a better world, Orozco saw it differently. He portrays acts of grotesque violence and inhumanity in all stages of this story. This is another example of Orozco's pessimistic method of representation. This concludes my retrospective on Jose Clemente Orozco's life.